nose sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowen, mission specialist Al Drew, and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. <laughs> The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,000. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, I just got goosebumps watching that happen. Uh, the Space Shuttle Discovery final launch from Kennedy Space.